Hey folks, this is GamerSecurity.org and today I want to talk to you about IVC VPN. Now, IVC VPN broke into Security.org's top 10 best VPNs and now I want to explain a little bit why. Now right off the bat, I want to say that VPNs, while generally offering a lot of the same services, are not gonna be used for the same things. And what's good for you is actually gonna be great for other people in specific cases, in specific instances. So let's start with that and talk about what we especially like with an IVC VPN. Now with IVC VPN, you have access to a number of streaming services. For example, with IVC, you can go to TV Azteca, you've got Telemundo, you've got Canal 13, the CW, Fox Sports, you name it, they may likely have it at IVC directly as an option inside of the app, which is really useful because you're not having to go from country to country to figure out exactly what's gonna work for every single thing you wanna see. The second thing I wanna talk about is affordability. I mean, it is incredibly affordable as a VPN. VPNs have been creeping up in price year after year after year, and you're gonna to wanna to pay for your VPN in pretty much all instances. So thinking about that price, if you're someone who's long-term thinking, you really get some significant savings when it comes to IVC VPN. Now this is something that's particularly tough for me, just to be clear, something I'm not loving with the IVC is the fact that if you are a Windows user predominantly, it's gonna have way more advanced features, way more going for it than the Mac. Um, you know, I have both, I'm actually reading my script today off of a Windows computer uh, over here, uh, but it, I also use Mac and there's gonna be a different experience, especially if you're a more advanced VPN user uh, with Windows and Android, which, you know, very different versus uh, Mac and iPhone. Though I would say the iPhone experience is actually pretty decent. Now we're talking about the location for IVC VPN. It is based in Singapore. Now Singapore is not a part of Nine Eyes or Four Eyes or whatever, but it is a partner with the United States and other jurisdictions. Something to keep in mind, though they do purport to have pretty strict data logging policies, but that's something to keep in mind when you're using IVC and VPN. Now what IVC does log is your username and your email address. So they're upfront about, hey, this is something that we keep hold on, which makes sense, you need to get in there. Additionally, IVC has 3,500 servers in over 100 countries. That's a lot, that's, that's a pretty decent number. Now I will say it's not the most I've ever seen and I didn't test all 3,500 servers to keep it 100 with you. Um, and it's not the most, but it is definitely um, a lot more than many of its competitors. So I was definitely providing a lot in terms of servers, which can be important. As you know, the world is very diverse. People got things going on everywhere. They need to be in a lot of different places digitally. Now, another thing when it comes to IVC is IVC does allow for you to use it simultaneously on up to 10 different devices. All right, 10 different devices, not bad. Not bad, IVC. And when we're talking about devices, you can use it on a number of devices. We've already talked a little bit about the Windows and Android being better devices. When it comes to IVC, because that's a tremendous, you know, reality, and it's a, it's a real thing, there's a difference, and it is shows. There's a kill switch for Windows and a kill switch for Android. When it comes to IVC VPN, not one for Mac or for Apple. That also stays when it comes to split tunneling. If you want to be on a public network for you know, a little bit of action over here, you want to be on a private network for a little bit of action over here, you don't do that on Windows and Android. There's no split tunneling for Mac or iPhone. Your encryption is your typical, I've said this a million times, 256 AES, so solid there. Let me just dive in real quick and talk about protocols. Now, uh, initially when IVC VPN first came out, uh, they didn't have as many protocols when it came to their uh, iPhone um, application because you know they don't do everything for iPhone as they've been doing for Windows and Android. But I can say uh, that they really upped it when it comes to protocols available for your Apple device. So they of course they have their TCP UDP for open, they got IPv, uh, IPsec, but they also have WireGuard. Remember WireGuard is really fast, really great security. Um, and if you're thinking about content particularly, uh, WireGuard is usually the protocol that you're going to use and you can do so directly on your iPhone. All right, so let's jump into the mobile application with IVC VPN. This is where uh, you get to see what the user experience is actually like when it comes to 
privacy because I can talk up here to I'm blue in the face, but you wanna see what it's like. You wanna, you wanna know what it looks like. And now with Ivacy, when you go in, it's gonna be like most mobile applications, you immediately have an option for Smart Connect. Uh, you can just connect to something, but you can also just jump directly to locations. And the locations, you can have your favorite countries, you can also have favorite cities, uh, which is a lot of fun. So you wanna be in, you know, Vienna, uh, you can add that to your favorites, or you can add Vancouver. Uh, I have mainly just been doing countries, and my favorites for countries were Netherlands, Brazil, South Korea, and Portugal. Same ones from my speed test. Um, and that is going to be super helpful for those who know exactly where they want to be all the time. Now, what else is super helpful for people that know exactly where they want to be all the time? Well, the purposes tab. So let's start with what purposes has first, which is what a lot of people are using their VPNs for, maybe 80%. Uh, I don't know. I, I should look up exactly what the numbers are. But if you go to start streaming, you have your various channels. You've got HBO Max and Hulu and Netflix and BBC and Amazon Prime and BN Sports. They have a lot of random uh, channels. I think they have Latvian. Uh, they've got uh, German Pro Sieben. They've got uh, Netflix Australia, Netflix Canada, Netflix Germany and Netflix Great Britain. Now, beyond that, what other things can we do? We can do secure downloading. It's something I haven't seen from other VPNs out there. So various different countries, you can go and just, you know, watch out for that viruses, that malware, they're gonna give you a little extra bit of protection. And you can do uh, unblocking. Now, unblocking is particularly important in certain countries. You can see here, I have a number of them uh, up. So if I wanted to unblock, you know, one country or another, I can do so right here with Iris VPN. Um, and that's good to know because in a lot of countries, not everything is gonna be, you know, accessible. You catch my drift. Now, when it comes to speed with Iris VPN, pretty solid speeds. Remember, I'm using Fios, uh, Verizon, um, you know, internet in my house. I think I got the most I could spend money on. Um, and I got 116 megabits per second download and I got 70 upload, pretty solid, pretty good. Now, when I use Ivacy VPN for Amsterdam or the Netherlands, let's just say the Netherlands, I got 76. So, you know, about a, a little bit of a drop there. Download speed and 39 uh, upload speed. When I did uh, Brazil, uh, specifically Sao Paulo, I got 63.9 uh, download speed and 40.5 upload speed for Seoul. It was a little bit slower. I mean, Seoul's farther away, but uh, you know, I would also check out Japan and other spots to see what they're like. But it went down to 42, so a pretty big uh, drop there. 42 uh, download speed and 35 upload speed. All right, so let me give you my final thoughts on IVC VPN. Now, IVC VPN uh, is incredibly affordable. I mean, that's just a uh, headline element right there. Um, it also has those purposes. So in the mobile application, we talked about purpose. So if you wanna download things securely, if you wanna unblock certain sites in certain countries, and if you wanna stream, those purposes are all there. And there's so many streaming services for a lot of different countries, including the United States, when it comes to uh, getting your content needs out uh, with the VPN dedicated to it. So thumbs up, especially for that element. All right, folks, thanks for checking out today's review of Ivacy VPN. We're probably gonna do some comparisons with Ivacy, so be on the lookout for those. Ivacy with some of the other big hitters out there in the VPN world. My name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure. <laughs>